All right. Today, our viewer question is, uh, does our body store B12? Uh, do we need to take it daily or is it okay to take every other day, for example? Oh, uh, important question. And the answer is right in that question. Uh, vitamin B12 is absolutely essential for everybody, including people on plant-based diets. Uh, it's essential for healthy brain function, healthy blood formation, healthy spinal cord function. You don't want to bottom out on vitamin B12. You absolutely need some. How often? We'll talk about it in a minute. Um, it's made by bacteria that live in the soil. Uh, and when we were living earth-connected lives, uh, uh, digging up uh, roots and tubers and eating them or drinking out of streams, uh, we would be getting B12 flowing through our system just the way the deer and the antelope do. Uh, nowadays, due to modern sanitation, nobody's drinking out of streams, nobody's eating unwashed vegetables. And so the natural sources of B12 have pretty much dropped out of our daily food stream. And it's for that reason, the folks on purely plant-based diets need to uh, consume some vitamin B12. We can talk about the form, either cyanocobalamin or methylcobalamin. Uh, but the question is, is it stored in the body? Yes, it is stored in the liver. It's stored in muscle tissue. And so that says, uh, do we have to consume it every day? Absolutely not. And it's been shown that if you take 500 to 1,000 micrograms, those are a millionth of a gram, uh, once or twice a week, 500 or 1,000 really should uh, make uh, everybody's uh, vitamin B12 stay at a safe level. So yeah, so twice a week, uh, 500 micrograms, I think a thousand probably is you know, a bit more effective. There are a thousand micrograms of either methylcobalamin or cyanocobalamin. Uh, they both work for the vast majority of people. Cyanocobalamin is a little cheaper and, it, and it's more stable in the bottle. So it's absolutely fine. Uh, but if you do take cyanocobalamin and on a blood test, you find your level of homocysteine is going up, uh, that means you probably need some methylcobalamin and methylfolate but that, that's a fairly rare situation there. So the cyanocobalamin, uh, 500 to 1,000 micrograms twice a week uh, should be absolutely adequate. Do not take it every day. Uh, and in fact, there's now starting to be concern. We used to think that oh, there is no such thing as too high a level of B12. Now we're seeing that there's a little bit of concern whether it may promote growth of a cancer in the body. Um, and uh, and I, when I get the blood test back, I don't see, like to see these sky high levels of B12. So you really don't want to take it every day. Some people do. Um, so uh, uh, if you do take it, if it's in your multivitamin, it should only be like five or 10 micrograms if you're taking it every day. Uh, but if you only take it a couple times a week, as I said, 500 to 1,000 micrograms should be adequate. Uh, I'm not a big fan of daily large doses of vitamin B12. So, uh, so if you follow those guidelines, you ought to be fine. And no, you don't have to take it every day. Hi, everyone. Dr. Michael Clapper here announcing our new format for our Q&A with Dr. K. Annie Hagen will be asking me one question that's been sent in by our viewers. So if you want to see if your question is getting answered, do join us for our Q&A with Dr. K right here. Hope to see you then.